Popular we'll one here, General Elect. Maruka Court looks well, and she's a solid second pick, and they're racing through a head up in the air, Maruka Court, when they jumped away. Lost no ground, though. Commanding order, one of the best away down near the inside, and Regal Nod and Roman Luck began fast. When they settled down, commanding orders quickly got the lead from Roman Luck. General Elect went up on the rail third. Then Turf Fight followed by Regal Nod, and then back on the inside, a search warrant. Further back in the field when they settled into stride would have been Remaster. Maruka caught out three deep, two or three lengths to Silver Peak, and four lengths to Ann Regus, who's last of all. Coming up around the home turn, 2,100 metres to go. Commanding orders taken off. In front, it's about five lengths in front now of General Elect. Turf fight three deep in the centre there is Roman Luck. Two then to search warrant Remuster. Maruka Court now one off the fence inside at Silver Peak and out three deep Regal Nod. Five lengths to Ann Regus last of all. Commanding order down to the judge now with the circuit to go. And it led five lengths. And second placing is General Elect inside Roman Luck. Turf fight out three deep. A length then to search warrant Remuster together going out of the straight. Then Silver Peak outside at Maruka court two lengths to regal nod and three to ann regus at the 1600 it's under the whip commanding order with a big break going down the side of the track by six a general elect is second a neck third on the outside roman luck turfites had no luck getting on the track three deep around ramusta on the fence search warrant a length and a half maruka court on the outside there of silver peak Four lengths further back, Regal Nod, and four last of all, Ann Regus. 1,300 to go, and commanding order set a good pace in front. Turned into the back straight, about four or five lengths in front now of General Elect. A length further back is Roman Luck. General Elect travelling second, but he's under the whip at the moment, chasing out after commanding order. Two lengths, Roman Luck third. A few of these are off the bit. Maruka Court starting to uh, get back in the field. Turf fight, remaster in front of it. Now Maruka Court pulled out deep. With a search warrants going backwards from Silver Peak, followed on the outside by Regal Nod. And Ann Regus is a very, very slow conveyance. 8.50 metres to go, and it's commanding order about four lengths in front of General Elect. Here's Maruka Court running home pretty well, and then Roman Luck and two lengths to Regal Nod, Ramusta. Then Silver Peak and Turfite. 600 out, commanding order getting the stitch in front, a length in advance. Maruka Court's dashed up on the outside second two lengths to regal not followed on the inside of it by roman luck and then general elect remaster silver peak maruka corp with a lightweight hit the front 350 to go beat off commanding order two then to regal not battling on then roman luck followed by remaster and a gap to silver peak but maruka court the rider looking over his shoulder he's two or three in front he's throwing everything at this mare she's three lengths in front of commanding order regal not silver peak from a long way back with ramusta but maruka court at the 250 meter mark is out four lengths in front. Silver Peak, Ramastra will battle out the miners, but she's going to win well, Maruka Court. And in the run home, Maruka Court has won at about two and a half to three. Silver Peak second, three quarters third. In the race is Remaster and then Commanding Order. Then Regal Nod, followed by Roman Luck. Further back in the field, then Turfite. Then Search Warrant All General Elect is a mile back from them, second last, and walking past the post is Enrigus. Some pretty tired horses there, but Maruka Court, number five, scoring quite a comfortable win. The baldy face well, clear halfway up the straight. The grey silver peak about to run into second placing with three muster in the gold cap on the inside of it. But a comfortable win to Marika Court, ridden by G. Skinner, the apprentice rider. And the numbers are five, six and seven. Marika Court first, Silver Peak second and Remuster third. And at Mooney Valley in the winner number five, Marika Court, $2 a win, 80 a place. Six, Silver Peak paid 90. Seven, Remuster, 145. Quinella, 860. Trifecta, 124.95. Running double, $8.55. The quadrilla numbers so far, three, four and five. And the last leg, race seven at 4.30. Lights on, they're racing. Came out in a fairly good line too. On the outside here, Chisango jumped away quickly with Amstel King. Artistic Princess quickly racing up towards the lead and Gallipoli Princess getting up along the inside when they settle. A lot of pace here in Artistic Princess as the leader settling with Shamfus on the outside of it. A length further back, Chisango and Gallipoli Prince went up on the rail fourth. A length into Amstel King. Warlike Shackle Star, four lengths to Prince Labby at the 600 metre turn. Shamfer and Artistic Princess, a length and a half, Chisango. Gallipoli Prince three quarters away on the inside of Amstel King and then further back Warlike Shackle Star, five lengths Prince Lavi, 450 out, Chamfer on the outside of Artistic Princess and then Chisango under the whip, two to Gallipoli Prince, the leaders have slipped away on him a little and then Amstel King when they turn, Artistic Princess a neck in front of Chamfer, Chisango Gallipoli Prince not going well back on the rail, Artistic Princess in front Chisango on the outside trying to peg it back but Artistic Princess is a half in front of Chisango, Chamfer and Warlike and Artistic Princess won Chamfer second, Chisango Sango third, fourth warlike, then Shackle Star, Gallipoli Prince, a very ordinary performance. He may not uh, like racing inside horses, and then Prince Labby and Amstel King, the last one in.
Well, the numbers there will be two, six and four as called by Brian, Artistic Princess, the winner, ridden by Harry White. Should pay approximately a dollar seventy-five and seventy. Number six, Sham for second to pay about one dollar fifty-five, and number four, Chisango third to pay one dollar and thirty cents. The numbers two, six, and four—a shocking run by the favourite Gallipoli Prince after race seven at Mooney Valley, and the Quadrilla combination is three, four, five, and two. Back to the tennis now at the Milton Courts in Brisbane. Advantage Fury. Chisango one thirty. Quinella 11.95, trifecta 169.15, running double $6.85. And uh, as far as the daily double and quadrilla are concerned, the daily double four strawberry ranch and two artistic princess $6.75, and the quadrilla on three, four, five, and two, $58.80. Let's go back to the tennis now. Some great action in that last game up at in November. Lights on for the last. Set to go. Racing in the final event, Perabaya, one of the best away. Campari Girl missed it about a length and a half. And dropping out to the back of the field, Dutton Star. True Warmth began OK, but is wide and going through Hollywood Heaven will lead. Hollywood Heaven led by a length and a half, settling down from True Warmth going up second. Perabaya third. Fourth moving up Sister Shirley and then blazing curves. Campari Girl, the rail. Out very deep as Celine around the outside there in company with Hollywood Heaven. Into the back, 12.50 out. The leader here is uh, Hollywood Heaven, I should say, the leader by two. Now going up on the inside, Pera Bayer, outside and moving forward, True Warmth. A length and a half further back then came Sister Shirley, fourth outside, Campari Girl. Two then to Dutton Star over on the inside, Blazing Curves and Celine last of all. Hollywood Heaven, the leader of the 9.50, led out by two and a half. True Warmth on the outside of Perabaya, two lengths further back, Sister Shirley, outside Campari Girl. A length further back, Dutton Star, pulling out three deep, Celine, and back last of all, Blazing Curves. At the 6.50, and Hollywood Heaven set a good pace in front by two lengths. True Warmth went up second, a length and a half, Perabaya. Sister Shirley got to third, running on fairly well from Campari Girl. Then further back, Celine, followed by Blazing Curves. They're bunching up, True Warmth grabbed the lead, 400 to go. Hollywood Heaven's gone, Sister Shirley quickly moving up to the leader. They're a length and a half, Campari Girl from Perabaya and then further back Dutton Star True Warmth the leader on the turn about a half length in front about three quarters to Sister Shirley it's drifting out this leader there clear of Perabaya Campari Girl in the straight they come and the leader True Warmth about a half in front of Sister Shirley it's True Warmth about three quarters Sister Shirley and then Campari Girl True Warmth is hanging on from Sister Shirley and True Warmth has won the last a half to Sister Shirley five away third Campari Girl and then Perabaya blazing curves and then Dutton Star Further back in the field, Celine, and tailed off as the early leader, Hollywood Heaven. True Womp, the winner of the final event, number three. Numbers should be 3, 1 and 4 in the last, but uh, this could be interesting. There may be a protest because this uh, winner has uh, drifted out, especially coming around the home turn, so it'll be interesting to see what uh, Brian Werner, the rider of Sister Shirley, decides to do. Only about a half-length ended at the finish. 3, 1 and 4 past the post, the winner...